Hello, thank you for joining me today. My name is Ari and I am delighted to have you here with me. Come to find Tadasana Mountain Pose at the top of your mat. Bring your feet about hips width distance apart. Find your root, your base here. You can rock back and forth, really find your foundation, settling into the four corners of your feet. Palms face forward. Feel your spine lengthening as the crown of your head lifts up toward the sky. Shoulder blades draw down and together. Connect with your breathing. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Not forcing your breathing, simply noticing your inhales and exhales begin to expand and deepen. And leave your hands by your sides, or if you'd like, you can bring your palms to touch at heart center in Anjali Mudra. If you brought your hands to touch, press your thumbs into your sternum, your sternum into your thumbs. Check in with your shoulder blades. They should be drawing together and down, trying to lift the heart here. You're welcome to keep your eyes open or close them, if that would suit you best. And I invite you to turn inward. So first, noticing your breathing, noticing how your body's feeling right now. Check in with your heart. And then your mind. Is anything arising for you now? Notice those thoughts, those emotions. Allow them to be. There's no need to hold on to them too tightly, but sometimes it's okay that they're there. During class today, I ask you to tune into your body. Stay present with your breathing, with your movement. Let's be present together as we move. If, you're clo if you closed your eyes, you can open them now. On your next inhalation, sweep your arms wide. Bring your palms to touch at the top. You can gaze up if that would feel good to you. Exhale, slowly fold forward, bringing your hands down to whatever is available for you. Standing here in Uttanasana, forward fold. You're welcome to find some gentle movement if that would feel good in your body. Keep breathing. You can bend and straighten your knees here. You can rock your hips from side to side, beginning to check in. Let your head hang heavy. And when you're ready, come into stillness in your forward fold. Feel the stretch all through the back of the legs, 
hips are lifting up toward the sky. Shoulder blades, shoulders, the jaw are all relaxed here. On your next inhalation, come up to halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward again. Next, plant your hands and step back to plank pose. We'll hold here in our plank for a few rounds of breath, feeling your palms, your finger pads pressing into the mat. Your core is keeping you stable and steady here. We'll slowly lower down to the ground to the count of three, two, one. Lowering your whole body down, untucking your toes, press your palms into the mat and lift up into Cobra Pose. Feel your shoulder blades drawing together and down your pelvic bone is pressing into your mat. The crown of your head is lifting up toward the sky. Exhale down. Take a deep round of breath here. Exhale out your mouth. On your next exhalation, tuck your toes and then lift up and press back to a plank pose and then we'll move back to downward facing dog. You can adjust your stance here, finding what feels best to you for your downward facing dog. You can find some gentle movement again here. Again, rocking the hips from side to side. You could bend, your, bend and straighten your legs alternately. You could lift up onto your tippy toes and extend your spine. Play around with it, have some fun. It's your body, your practice. Allow yourself the freedom to move as you would like to. And with that being said, I wanna remind you that if any of these poses don't feel right or good in your body, you're welcome to come out of a pose come into child's pose or find another pose that would feel better to you and your body. When you're ready, come into stillness in your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Finger pads are pressing into your mat. Ears are in line with your shoulders. Hips are lifting up toward your sky, toward the sky. Take a few more rounds of deep breath here. Appreciating this pose and how it feels in your body. Look forward between your hands. Step your right foot forward. We'll drop the left knee down, untuck those toes. Inhale, rise up into a low lunge. Palms are facing one another, fingertips are reaching toward the sky. Find a gaze in front of you. Breathe deeply. Feel the stability of your pose. Exhale your hands down. We'll heel toe the right foot out to the right, toes will be pointed out at an angle and bring your fingertips to the ground. And if this is not comfortable, you can always grab blocks or blankets or anything to bring the floor up to your hands. And we'll slowly begin to rock our hips forward and back in space, trying to keep the spine long here. Breathing into this opening, move as slowly as you like to. And going as deep as feels good to you. 
We'll do two more rounds of forward and back here. The next time you're forward, stay here and place your left palm on the mat or on a block. Right hand comes to right knee and look over your right shoulder. The right foot, uh, you can come onto the outside of that right foot if that feels good to you. If it doesn't, keep your foot planted. And another option, if this is available to you, you can bend your left knee and reach around with your right hand, grab onto the top of the left foot. Breathe deeply into your shape. Inhale to unwind. Drop the back foot. If you lifted it, press both hands. And then we'll, we'll send the hips back. And the right foot will be flexed with the toes pointing toward the sky. Check in with your hips, make sure they're level here. We'll come into a nice little hamstring stretch. So bending forward as far as feels good to you. Again, if you need blocks here or any props that you have, use them now. Or you can be on your fingertips or down onto your palms. Finding the variation that suits your body in this moment. Let's rock forward onto that right foot, place the hands, and we'll step back to downward facing dog. Pedal it out here, come back to your breath. Look forward, step your left foot forward between your hands. We'll drop down onto that back knee, untuck the toes if that feels good. Inhale, rise on up and do your low lunge. Feel your legs rooting you down as your torso and arms lift you up. Exhale your hands down. Heel toe your foot out to the side so it's pointed out at an angle and then Remember, come either onto your fingertips or, or your palms if you're feeling a lot more open today, uh, or onto any props that you might have. And we'll slowly rock forward and back in space here. Opening up the hip joints here. Slow, steady inhalations and exhalations here. We'll do two more back and forward here. And meet with our hips rocked forward. Press your right hand into the mat. Left hand comes onto your left knee. Look over your left shoulder. And if you'd like, you can come onto the edge of your left foot here. Really opening into the inner groin here. But if that doesn't feel good, stay on the sole of your foot. And if this doesn't feel good in your wrist, you can always make a fist and press your knuckles into the mat. And again, if you'd like, you can bend that right leg, grab onto the top of the right foot with your left hand to deepen your stretch. Get a nice quad stretch on the right side here. Inhale to unwind, press the palms. We'll step back to a downward facing dog again. Oh, I missed something. <laughs> Oops. Leave the left foot where it's at and send your hips back. Left foot is flexed. Bending forward here. Nice hamstring stretch. Check in with your hips again. You can place your hands on your sacrum, sacrum to Check in there. Try 
try to lead with your heart here. Shoulder blades drawing together and down. Now we'll rock forward, press the palms into the mat, and step back to downward facing dog. Breathing deeply here in your downward facing dog. Inhale to lift your right leg up and back, coming into three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee forward, step your right foot forward. Between your hands, drop your back heel, and then we'll lift up into warrior one. Shoulders are square with the front of your mat. Bending as deeply into that front knee as feels good to you. Nice tall spine here. And then we'll open it up. We'll come into warrior two. Chest and hips are open to the left side of your mat. Fingertips are reaching forward and back. And gaze is just over those front fingertips. We'll take a nice little flow here. Extend the front leg, bring the hands up toward the sky, and then bend back into your warrior two. Rise on up, come on down. We'll do two more here. Staying here in warrior two, we'll flip the right palm Reverse the warrior. Left hand can come down to your leg or you can wrap it around behind your back. Right fingertips are reaching toward the upper corner of the back wall of your room. Gaze can be up or down, whatever suits you best. Let's windmill the arms, press the palms into the mat, step back to downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. Inhale to lift your left leg up, coming into a three-legged dog. Exhale forward, step your left foot between your hands. Seal the back heel, and we'll rise up into warrior one on the other side. Breathe deeply here. Tune into your body. Notice the strength and the calm that you contain within you. One more round of breath. We'll open it up to warrior two. Fingertips reaching forward and back. And check in with the placement of your torso here. You should feel as though there's a tug of war between your front and back arm and the back arm is slightly winning. Left knee is tracking toward your middle toes here. And then we'll find our flow, standing up, reaching the arms up, coming back down. Keep flowing here at your own pace. Moving slowly, breathing deeply. We'll do one more. Meeting down in warrior two. Flip the front palm and reverse your warrior. Finding the variation that suits you best. Windmill the arms. Place your hands on the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. You can either stay up here in downward facing dog or you can come down to child's pose if that would feel better.
Reconnect with your breath in and out through your nostrils. Two more deep rounds of breath in your pose. Let's meet in tabletop position. Shoulders stacked over knee. <laughs> Shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. We'll send the right leg back. Foot is lifted. Heel is approximately in line with your hip. Find a drishti, a focal point on the ground in front of you to help you stay balanced. Feel your core engage. If you'd like, you can join me by reaching the left arm forward. Palm faces the midline fingertips reaching as far forward as possible. Breathe deeply. Find your balance. Continuing to reach your fingertips forward and your heel back. Keeping your right leg lifted, you can drop your left hand and then move your left shin out to the side to make yourself a little kickstand. And we'll come into a modified side plank. So we'll stack the hips here. And you can stay here if you'd like, or you can reach your right arm up toward the sky. Hips and shoulders are open to the right side of your mat. If you'd like to make it a little more challenging, you can look up at your right hand. Look down at your left hand. Slowly come to release out of the pose. Coming back to hands and knees. Let's rock the hips from side to side. Coming back to stillness and hands and knees. Send your left leg back long. The foot is flexed, toes are pointed toward the ground. Check in with your hips, make sure they're staying level here. Find the engagement in your core, your low back, your glutes, your leg, your shoulders. Stay connected to your breathing. Find a point on the ground to help you stay focused. If you'd like, you can join me by reaching the right arm forward. Finding length here with the arm and the leg. The core keeping you stable. Keep breathing. You're doing great. Keeping the left leg lifted, right hand comes down. And let's move the right shin out to the right, making a little kickstand for yourself. And then we'll come into that modified side plank. Stacking the hips here. And when you're ready, you can slowly begin to reach your left arm up toward the sky. Gaze can be down at the right hand or up at the left hand if you'd like to make it a little more balancey. Sometimes we get shaky, we waver. If you stay connected to your breath, stay present in your body. If you fall down, you can always get back up. Look down at the right hand, slowly come out of the pose. Let's rock the hips from side to side again.
Next, we'll tuck all 10 toes. You can use your fingers to assist those little baby toes that don't always like to follow. Bring your knees together and sit back on your heels. I love this toe stretch, but it can be kind of intense. So if this is too much, you're always welcome to come out of it. So do the best you can. Feel your sit bones rooting down. Crown your head lifts up toward the sky. And let's clasp the hands behind the low back. We'll keep the arms bent here. Draw your shoulder blades together and down and draw your elbows toward one another. It's a beautiful heart opener. One more round of breath here. You can come forward onto your hands and shake your feet out or tap, tap them out on the ground. We'll be coming into that toe stretch one more time. So find your variation. If you wanna be up a little higher, it's a much gentler stretch, or you can come into the full stretch right here. Listen to your body. If this hurts, you don't have to do it. <laughs> So find your pose, find length in your spine. We'll clasp the hands behind the low back, but this time put the opposite thumb in front. Let's do what we just did before. We'll keep the elbows bent for now. Draw them together as your shoulder, blo shoulder blades draw together and down. And then if it's available to you, you can extend your arms. Breathe deeply into this opening. One more deep round of breath. Release out nice and slowly. Shake out your feet, tap them on the ground if that would feel good. And next we'll meet on our backs. So get there however feels good to you. Slowly lowering down. <sighs> Both feet are planted on the ground, knees reach up toward the sky, and cross your right ankle over top of your left thigh. Right foot is flexed, knee is pressing away from you. If this is a good pose for you, you are welcome to stay here. If you'd like a little bit more, you can bring those knees closer to your chest and grab onto the left hamstring or the left shin. The arms should be fairly relaxed here. The hands are clasped so you don't have to do much work, but trying to draw that knee away and get a nice hip stretch here. The back of the head is resting on the mat. Tailbone is pressing into the mat. Release the legs down. Keep the cross as they are. And your arms can come out into a T. And then Drop your legs over to the left. Your right foot is planted on the ground. Your right shoulder is planted on the ground. We'll start here. If you'd like a little bit more, you can stack the hips a little bit more and cross your right leg over your left. Deepening your twist. Gaze can be up at the sky or over your right shoulder. Keep your expansive inhalations and exhalations rolling. On your next inhalation, 
slowly unwind. Remove the right leg. Bring your feet out as wide as your mat and we'll windmill the legs. Really seeing the low back here. Coming into stillness again, bring your feet about hips width distance apart and we'll switch the cross of the legs. Left ankle on top of right thigh. Left foot is flexed. Left knee is pointed away from you, is pushing away from you. If this is your pose, stay here. If you'd like more, you can bring your legs closer to your chest, grabbing onto your right hamstring or your right shin, whatever is available to you. Shoulder blades and back of the head are resting on the mat. Breathe deeply here. Tailbone is pressing into the mat as well. Release the clasp of the hands, and then we'll come into that twist again. Dropping the legs to the right side, left foot plants on the ground. You can stay here, or you can deepen your twist, stacking your hips, cross your left leg further over top of your right. Striving to keep the left shoulder rooted on your mat. Find the gaze that suits you best. Breathe deeply into your twist. Feel the weight of gravity. One more round of breath here. On your next inhalation, Unwind, come back to center, release your feet, and bring them as wide as your mat again. We'll windmill the legs. Come out of that when you're ready. And next, you can come into happy baby pose. Bringing your knees closer to your chest, Arms go to the inside of your knees, grab onto the outsides of your feet. It should be as if your feet are standing on the ceiling. The goal is for your thighs to be parallel with the ground. And you can either stay here in stillness, or you can rock back and forth from side to side. You can bend and straighten your legs. Have a little fun with it. Move your body in whatever way feels good to you. Continuing to breathe here. As we begin to slow down. If you're not already in stillness, let's come into stillness in happy baby pose for a few rounds of breath. Release the hold on your feet. Extend your legs long, your arms long. Let's prepare for Shavasana, our final resting pose. If you need to get any socks or a sweater or a blanket or any props to place under you during Shavasana, grab all of those things now. Get nice and cozy. A 
Legs extend long with your feet naturally falling out to the sides. Arms extend long by your sides with your palms facing up. Find your comfortable pose. And when you're ready, I invite you to close your eyes. Notice your breathing. Notice your body begin to relax and sink into your mat. Feel your body relaxing from your toes all the way up to the crown of your head and back down again to your toes. Feel the tension releasing your body with each exhalation and with each inhalation you breathe in prana, life force, energy. Noticing the effects of your yoga practice today. Simply be. Bring your awareness back to your breath, back to your body. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Gently bring movement back into your body in whatever way feels authentic to you. When you're ready, roll to one side for a few rounds of breath in the fetal position. Keeping your eyes closed, gently push yourself up to a comfortable seat. On your next inhalation, sweep your arms wide, bringing your palms to touch, gathering this light, this energy you created in class today, and bring it down to your heart center. I invite you to take a scan of your body and notice how you're feeling. Try 
you feel any different than you did at the beginning of class when you first began to tune into your own being. Let's bring the thumbs to touch the forehead as a reminder of kind thoughts. Thumbs touch the mouth as a reminder of kind words. And thumbs touch the heart as a reminder of kind intentions. I hope that you take this light and energy with you out into the world. Thank you again for practicing with me today. Namaste.